sauce still doing pretty good, isn't it? Is that what we need to do? 24. 23 and a half. 23 and a half. Yeah, see, we're making brackets here today. Yeah, that's long. These are gonna really, it's, it's fine. That was just a rough cut anyway. Mm. So we're, making, we're gonna make a sample bracket. And since Barrett and I don't have the mental capacity to do mass production, we're gonna get Gary to do <laughs> all the rest of them. <laughs> okay. We're just gonna make the sample. There we go. <laughs> So, all we're doing is putting um, a little bevel on that piece. We're trying to keep this simple. We don't want them just squared off on the ends like that. And this will just give them a little bit of detail. Just something, you know, but we're trying to keep it simple. So, Barrett, grab the framing square. I think that piece, you could, now, we're making that top piece 23 and a half so it stops behind the fascia board on top of the sheeting because if Paco frames the rafter, the bar rack rafter hanging over 24 inches, he'd want it, and that's from the framing, right? Then he's gonna add OSB to it, the sheeting. So that's 23 and a half. And I think what I'm gonna do is just leave this on 24 because that'll kind of give it an, uh, an asymmetrical, I don't, like a, I don't like these brackets to be too symmetrical it also gives you a place to put a big bolt in down here, and I'll show you that. What? Uh, we'll, we'll sand it later. Okay. <laughs> Get that like that. And then you can kind of see where this is going already, right? Now we can cut to keep our, to keep everything in two foot increments so our material works out because we have eight foot four by fours, you can buy these Douglas fir four by fours at Home Depot and they're untreated. And the reason I don't like treated lumber for this is because of a warp twist. You've seen it all there, it crack, everything. And so these are gonna be up under the soffit so you don't have to worry about them rotting or anything like that. Uh, I guess the only thing you have to worry about is woodpeckers and carpenter bees. But, you know, that's just regular maintenance. What do you think? It's cool, Dad. Just a simple bracket. I'm wondering if this part's too long, but I want it to be taller than it is than it is long. I want it to be asymmetrical like that. Hmm. They look kind of goofy when they're when they're symmetrical. They don't look like they're holding up anything if they're In symmetrical. Yeah. Now we just got to figure out how to. Um, Fasten it all together. And let's keep this simple. So bear again, try to keep this simple so that anybody can make these, right? Mm -hmm. We're just gonna pre-drill us a hole. Can you put one hand on this to kind of hold it? Can you be a compound video guy in a <sighs> we're gonna angle? I need to get this one better, a little more flush. So we'll put this second one in first. Huh? So the second one in first. Yeah. That's that little trick you've learned. Now we're gonna use longer screws on the on the all the rest of them. This was just a sample for Gary. You wanna drive that in until it's flush. Right, because this is gonna be up against the house. You don't want that screw sticking out. See how I drove it in? Mm -hmm. The bad news is it made that a little, a little out of flush that way, but I don't know. Fine. This is, we're, it's Friday. That's going to be up against the wall. We're not going to hmm. be picky today. We're... Are you vigin? Yep. What we're going to do is we're going to use this screw, these screws, Barrett. See the end of that? Yep. It's like a bronze trim screw. It's like a decking screw. And the head sets up nice on them. On these other, these others have those big waffle headed. And I'm pretty much just trying to go in at a right angle here. 
right per uh, perpendicular to this plane right here. So what we might do is just stand this up like this. And this literally just goes where it fits the best. Right? Mm -hmm. You want the angles, you just slide it up there until your 45s work. I mean, good. If you've got a decent miter saw, you don't have to worry about this. You just slide it back and forth. See, that doesn't fit, right? Yeah, true. Yeah, uh, your cuts will fit. Your, your yeah. cuts, if you make your, both your 45s fit, I know there's some room for minor adjustment there. Like right there is perfect. That's what I should have done. Is start. That way my screw will go in that hole. And I'll just kind of line it. Hey, forward would work. See? Now, for now, I'm just going to run it up. Is that pretty much flush? For now, I'm just going to run it flush. Get it lined up. This wood is so dense. It's amazing, isn't it, Barry? Yeah, it really is. But you can pull it, you can run your screw out and then run it back in and, and close up that gap. But see, if I had run those screws this way, part of the screw would be sticking out. Or, let me show you this. If we had run them this way, see how this part of the screw would be sticking out? Yeah. And what you would do is you would try to run that in there so far that you would end up tearing up the face of this wood. Hmm. Can't believe how dense this. I keep forgetting how dense Douglas fir is, which is good. You don't want a real soft wood on these brackets, but you don't. You know they don't need to be oak either. But that's why I picked Douglas fir. Because I well I picked Douglas fir because I knew. It would be more clear. You know, we wouldn't have to worry about knots and all that as much. And there you go. It's that simple. So big, I'm having to back up. Doesn't that look good? Yeah, that's cool. Now, and we could have made that in 10 minutes if we, want, if we wanted to. I, once you get in a groove and you're just cutting all your pieces first. Yeah, for sure. So that one's, that's 24 inches with a 45. This one is 24 inches also. That gives it its asymmetry because it's plus three and a half. So that's 24 inches from there. All I did was come back an inch, put a little bevel on it, real simple. In our case, this one's 23 and a half, but you could make it 24. So literally you'd have three 24 inch pieces. That's six feet of lumber per bracket. And now we have one Where's our, that's our, that's our bracket for the next one, the leftover piece. So we're using, using our lumber wisely. Ah, just a quick bracket tutorial. <laughs> nice spot for a bird. I know. You know what? We, this house has been here what, over a year and we still don't have birds. Mm. Uh, you know, I think they see me walking around with my shotgun too much. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> uh.